Welcome back to the Ozone, guys. Got a couple more pairs of shoes. We got a catalog and show to you guys. It's going to be a varied show today. Just picking up stuff out of random boxes for this episode. Get you guys some box action. Hope it focuses for you. I'm going to get this shoe out. What is this shoe? This shoe is the Women's Air Jordan 1 Mid Special Edition Black Chili Red Barley Y Volt. I got that wrong. I'm sorry, guys. That was just Barley Volt, but... Basically, this yeah, this is the shoe I thought it was. I really like this shoe. This is one of the wave of Jordans or Nikes that will be made out of post consumer materials, aka recycled. It's okay shoe. I thought it was gonna be more like the Zen Green when I ordered it. But it wasn't like the Zen Green, it was uh made out of the recycled material as you guys can see here it's like a leathery recycled plastic material it's not bad or the shoe doesn't look bad but it's just weird to me that uh everybody is on the wave of wanting recycled shoes i can't keep the recycled shoes in stock you guys buy them looks like uh, this has some type of black stain on the bottom i have to clean that off but that's okay not anything major, like I said, this is my pair, and I'm most likely never going to wear it, because I don't like the recycled materials. I may bust it out, like I said, later this year, next year, you know how I like to do, and the shoe is gone and forgotten, that's when I bring it out looking brand new, spiffy, and perfect. Alright guys, again, this is the Women's Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. We're going to call this one the Black, our Barley Vote. All right, guys, we're back with the next shoe. Let me get you a little bit of box action. Hope it focuses. Going through some of my backlog of shoes as well. I got to get all these shoes cataloged. This is the Air Jordan 13 Retro White Black in Court Purple. Old shoe of mine. I need to probably bring it back to my rotation because I got a lot of Kobe things. So, it's not a size 10. I just keep it in the size 10 box. I, I believe this is a 12 and a half. But, uh, I'm able to also stretch shoes to make them fit that wouldn't usually fit in the shop as well. So like I said, like I said, it's a classic shoe, old colorway, still um, maybe wore them once, if that, I think I might have just tried them on, I don't know if I wore them, I don't know if you guys could tell that by the bottom, but everything on this shoe, pretty much still dead stock, so we're getting it added to the collection, I love this type of Jordan, 13s. Getting more now that I've uh, keep the sole shields in there. You guys can see that my toe box is good. Cause like I said, I keep them in there. But uh, it's one of my favorite Jordans, uh, Jordan 13. So I'm gonna be getting more. Cause I'm moving away from the five. But let's get to the next shoe, guys. All right, guys. Our final shoe for the video is something new. Like I said, I just don't collect uh, Adidas, Jordans, Yeezys. I collect every sneaker. At least comes from a reputable brand. Let me let you guys get a, a little bit of tag action. Yeah, let you guys get a little bit of box action so you can see. The Polo Shoes by Ralph Lauren. Some skiers. They are the Polo Ralph Lauren Solemn Down Here Skiers. Red Multi Canvas Sneaker. Packaging out all oh, the shoes. Okay. Okay. So more of along the lines of a Chuck Taylor type shoe, but still a good shoe. I have a polo sweatsuit to match this in the exact color. 
That's why I bought them. Get the seat extra pair of laces. Side view of the shoe, like I said, nothing special. It's just a Chuck Taylor type model. But what I can say about this shoe is that uh, it does have a little bit of cushioning in the inside, unlike Chuck Taylor's, like some type of air unit in here. Uh, guys can might look it up on the Polo website. Has an air unit in there. Uh, you, see you get your little skier on the side. Let you guys get some bottom action. Right, either way, I'll leave it to the polos up. Let me bring it closer. Now, this should be, I think, polo shoe number eight in my collection. I think I'm going to get a few more of the polo shoes. Like I said, just to branch out. Since I'm going to start wearing the sweatsuits and they cost such an ungodly price. I want to be polo from head to toe. But remember, guys, I'm going to also probably swap these laces out for some red ones. Let me know if you guys think I should. I swap them out for navy blues. But uh, I think that's pretty okay with the white. But I just don't like having white laces. But uh, I guess if I put a white tee with the sweatsuit, it should go. But uh, we'll figure that out later, guys. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And thanks for watching, guys. We're going to keep on making content and keep rolling. Stay safe. Stay happy, guys. Everybody fucking go!